Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's video newsletter, well we're going to answer a question that I've been posed by somebody on LinkedIn uh, this week and it's a question about capability statistics. So we're going to talk capability but it's not the usual capability statistics it's a question about CM, CMK. What is it? How do I work it out? Now, I'm going to answer that question uh, for my viewer on LinkedIn in a moment, but before I do, just a little reminder about my books. Uh, if you enjoy the videos, uh, all the content really that's in the videos is in my book, Drink Tea and Read the Paper that you can get from lulu.com and if you have a specific need for design of experiments so if you have a specific interest if you're a Six Sigma specialist and you have a specific interest for design of experiments then design of experiments for 21st century engineers is my latest book also available from lulu.com be fantastic to get your comments, likes, etc. It helps with the channel as well. So all of those things would help me continue with this uh, free service of providing these videos for you. So that would be fantastic. Please go and please go and look those books up uh, straight away. Now then, let's go back to um, the question that I've been asked. CM CMK. What is it? Well, it's a special version of CP, CPK. So in that sense the the mathematics that's going to be presented is identical. So if we take the simpler one as a, uh, a little example that we can do, the idea that you take the upper spec minus the lower specification all divided by six standard deviations and that is the CP calc but it's also the CM calc. Now then, so what's the difference? Why have we got CM, CM, C, CP versus CM? What's the difference? The difference between these two is simply about the data. This one at the top is simply, I'm going to use a different pen, 50 consecutive fifty consecutive pieces. Now a great thing to do by the way is to keep them in order. So if you're going to do this, this would be, this is probably my favourite capability study. You are going to do this at new product introduction. And you are going to simply make 50 consecutive pieces really important. Hands off the process. So in other words, there is no manual interference with the machine at all. So when you do this, what capability am I looking at? Well, the M in CMK or CM means machine capability. And the reason why, it, and it is just the machine capability, is because when you do 50 consecutive pieces it doesn't include things like maintenance deterioration, changes in the batches of material, changes in the skill of the person running the machine maybe, changes in setup, so from setup to setup you might have slight, slight movements in the center of your data. So these 50 consecutive pieces I just saying to you, well regardless of any other variability, is the machine, just the machine you've chosen, is it capable? And, and that's really what CM and CMK are. So the calculation is exactly the same. 
for both of these. I've used that one because it's much simpler to, to write down. Um, the, other, the other thing that you might want to think about is the sigma calculation. Now in CPK, of course, the sigma calculation would be Schuert's calc, which is R bar over D2. The sigma calculation in this case is um, all the individual data points sum of it's this one so it's the big fat standard deviation calculation I, I'm, I've never checked this so you know if someone wants to leave a comment to say I, I'm wrong about this I'm quite happy to be corrected but as far as I understand I think that if you used this technique and this technique I don't think they would be too far apart. I did some work the other day on a data set where I used both methodologies. The data set was very consistent, it got very little uh, extraneous noise in it. So in other words, it was like 50 consecutive pieces without any other variability in it. And therefore these two came out to be very, very close to one another. So I don't think it matters too much which calc you use, but the calc that's recommended is the big fat standard deviation calculation that we've got that we've got here and what you're doing is you're just measuring the capability of the machine in other words do i have a chance do i have a chance ignoring all the other variability that's going to come at me and the way we maintain the machine etc is this a good choice of machinery right at the start and that's why it's a great new product introduction capability study to use, um, it tells you whether you've got a chance. Most important, hands off. Um, and it's the, it's the study that I recommend whenever I'm doing a project. I will often recommend this to my green belts and my black belts. I'll often say the first thing I want you to do is to just take your hands away, run the machine, and let's see if the machine is in condition to actually do something you know, is it capable? So what you want to see when you take your hands off, you want to see something like this. In other words, the, the machine's got a chance. Now obviously with other variability, this might move backwards and forwards, and you might end up with an ultimate long-term capability that's like this, producing, producing defects in the tail. But at least if you've got this first capability here from 50 consecutive it's telling you you've got a chance with the machine if what you've got is something that looks like this even without any other variability you know the machine itself is not capable and now you need to make a decision is it because I need maintenance on the machine and I've been abusing the machine or is it now because we've selected the wrong machine. Maybe you've got more accurate machinery that you need to use, newer machinery that you need to use, and maybe the choice of machinery was wrong at new product introduction. So it would be, do I improve the capability or do I change the machine? But this is machine capability. It's different to CPK because it's 50 consecutive. CPK data could have come from uh, a much longer period. Uh, but it's 50 consecutive and it is my favorite way of doing a capability study because it tells you whether you're capable and then you make decisions and guess what you do with good decisions you can make more money which is what all of this stuff is about use cmk and make more money